Welcome back to the Daytime Kitchen. Our next guest was runner-up in Eater.com's Sexiest Chef in NY competition, yes, in New York City. But he's more than just a pretty face. He's an acclaimed culinary professional with an impressive pedigree. He is Paul Corsentino, and you can often see him on the Food Network's top-rated show, Iron Chef America. Paul, good to have you here. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations on uh, being uh, handsome and uh, for doing so well on Iron Chef. A sous chef for uh, Jeffrey Well, you know what? It doesn't matter matter what kind of chef you were, you still did well. You won it. Great. Uh, what are we making? So today we're making a prosciutto and hazelnut salad with uh, some frangelico glazed apples. It's, and ha it's hazelnut month, isn't it? That is correct. The reason we're making this salad, we're featuring this dish at the National for uh, National Hazelnut Month. And the National is, September. is your restaurant is in correct. Manhattan. Correct. Very good. In what hotel? The Benjamin Hotel. The ben so if you're at the Benjamin, go see Paul at the National. <laughs> uh, how do we make this? So let's get started with the first we're going to make our vinaigrette, mm -hmm. which was just uh, is one quart of apple cider that we reduced down to a uh, half a cup. Oh, so it smells good. It's delicious. It's going in. Oh, it's kind of syrupy. Exactly. The sugar kind of congeals as it reduces down. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll add half of this, which is about three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Nice. And next is our pure hazelnut oil. Is this open? Yes. I have to open it. It's ready to go. Okay. I would do about half that. Half what? Half the oil. Just go for it. You tell me when. Let it rip. Let's, uh, because I'm not a sous chef. <laughs> I'm going You're to good to go right there. Done. Beautiful. Okay, done. And let's just hit it with a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt? Goes a long way. I need to make more of my own vinaigrettes at home. <laughs> I, wanna, I, I always say, is that a pinch? That's a pinch. Okay, that's I'm enough. just going to whisk it up now. Okay, all right. I'm glad you're making me work. Because <laughs> if I work, I learn. Different. I learn while I work. Great. So, now we're ready to go. Okay. Let's go ahead and just hit this a drizzle of the vinaigrette into our salad. And in our salad, we have, there you go, that's perfect. I made a little bit less. Whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to hit it with some, uh, some prosciutto. Mm -hmm. And what the prosciutto does, it kind of counterbalances the sweetness of this vinaigrette. It's oh, a little yes. bit of salty. That's right. Sweet and salty. And then we'll hit it with our frangelico glazed apples. Oh. Which, again, a little bit of uh, sweetness again. Sweet thought, and sour. I thought so we were speak. putting pears in this. Are we putting pears or no, apples? No, these are apples. Okay. You can put pears. That's, That's a okay. great idea. Anything you See, like. See, there you go. And next is some uh, crushed candied hazelnuts. Oh, oh my gosh. This is my type of salad. Me too. It's almost like a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just mix that up. Mm. Oh gosh. So this will be at the restaurant mm -hmm. for the month of September. Yeah. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and plate that in our... our oh, we're our done already. Plate. We're done with that, that salad. Oh, marvelous. Okay. And I pair it with some nice bitter greens, again, to counterbalance some of the sweetness from mm. the vinaigrette. Good stuff. And the hazelnuts are a nice... Uh, well, they kind of got to balance out the salad as well. Mm. What um, what are these nice big nuts over here? Those are our candy hazelnuts. Oh, can we throw a few of those on too? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Go for some more. I can't have enough nuts. Actually, I throw um, hazelnuts and, and candied pecans on just about everything I eat, and it just makes every dish better. I agree. Oh, look at that. Hazelnuts that is... are my favorite too. So. Oh my. Okay, I have. To and this. then we're going to pair this with a nice little cocktail. Whip up a cocktail. What are you making over there? So we have a cocktail that's a frangelico hazelnut liqueur mm, with some um, apple infused vodka. Oh my. And some cranberry juice. Nice fall flavors. Mm. So we just mix that all up and uh, pour it in our glass, and that's it. Now frangelico. We were all calling it Mrs. Butterworth, but it's actually, uh, it's a... Uh, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> it's not Mr. Butter Butterworth's either. It's, it's a hazelnut liqueur. It's an Italian hazelnut liqueur. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, Good? yes. Oh, yes. That Great. goes very well with this salad. Yes. So, you know, you have the nice uh, fall flavors, the hazelnut flavors from Frangelico. Then you have the hazelnut flavors in the salad. And then it kind of all comes together in this great fall dish mm. with uh, uh, the apples and the apple cider. Oh. And it just kind of re reminds you of those nice fall flavors. So good. Are we going to see you again on the Food Network anytime soon? Anything? Whenever Jeffrey's on, I try to be on with him. And, and Jeffrey, just to, just to remind everybody at home, Jeffrey's last name again? Zakarian. Zakarian. Mm -hmm. He won one Iron Chef, and you are the sous chef That's for him. That's correct. That's okay. Correct. When he wins, you win. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Paul Corsentino, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. And I'm putting this recipe on our website, Daytime Online. TV. Still ahead on daytime, find out how you can help the Boys and Girls Club by taking a simple quiz. We'll be right back.